Hello, in this video we'll be going over how to make a dismemberment system so we can shoot off the different limbs of our player. I'll be creating this in the first person template as it comes with a default gun, but this can be set up in any template. So to get started you want to go to your character's model and split it up into multiple different pieces. I used Blender to split the youthful mannequin into separate different pieces, so I made a version with just the youthful mannequin's head, body, left and right legs and arms. When you split your model into multiple different pieces, make sure it's still connected to the whole rig. You can split your character into as many different pieces as you'd like. I will also leave a link in the description where you can download all the different pieces of the U4 mannequin which I'm going to use in this video. Once you have all the separate pieces of your character, before you import it into Unreal Engine, you first want to import the rig of your character. I'm going to be using the default U4 mannequin. So to add this, we're going to head over to add slash import and then go to add feature or content pack and select the third person character and go add to project and this will just add the default U4 mannequin to our project with some um, third person blueprints which we'll be using later. If you have your own rigged character just first drag in the rig of your character. Once you've done that you want to head to a folder so I'm going to head over to the mannequin folder and right click and create a new folder and I'll just call this body parts. We're going to head inside here and briefly close Unreal and drag in all the separate body parts that we just made. I'm going to select them all and just drag them into Unreal. And then for the skeleton, you just want to select the skeleton, which these body parts are for. So for us, it's the U4 mannequin skeleton. And just click Import All. Once you've done this, you want to head over to the third person blueprint. And then if we select the third person character, press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V. And just rename this our Dismemberment Character. And if we head inside here and go to the viewport, we can just delete this camera boom and follow camera as we don't need it. If we select the mesh and change it so it's just the head. In order to add the other body parts to this, we just want to select the mesh and go to add component and look for skeletal mesh. And I'll just call this my left arm. And you just want to select the mesh and add more skeletal meshes for each of the character's different body parts. If you're following with my character, I separated the character into five separate parts, so add five skeletal meshes to the mesh. I'm just going to speed up this bit. So I've created skeletal meshes for each of my character's different body parts. Just make sure that they're attached to this main mesh. And then I'm going to add all my different skeletal meshes. So this left arm, I'm going to look for my character's left arm. And then, so it uses the character's third person animation blueprint, we can just look for third person animation blueprint under animation. So I'll just do this for the right arm as well, for skeletal mesh, I'll look for right arm. And under the animation class, I'll make it use the third person animation blueprint. I'm just going to speed up this footage for the rest of the body parts. Once you've added all your characters different body parts, you want to head over to the construction script and right click and look for set, master, pose component for any of the body parts. And then you want to drag in the mesh and just plug this into the new master pose. And then you want to select all of the other skeletal meshes and just drag them in here and plug them into the target. I've added body twice, so I'm just going to delete this. And then just plug this into the construction script. This will just make it so that these body parts are attached to our mesh. So next I'm going to show you how to separate off all these different body parts and then we'll go over how to make it so if I shoot a certain body part they will fall off. So if I head over to the event graph and right click on the free space and look for event begin play and event begin play I have a delay of 0.2 seconds and then I'll separate all my character's body parts. To do that we want to drag in one of our body parts such as the left arm and look for set, master, pose component and then we want to drag in all our other skeletal meshes and just attach them to the target and just connect the delay here. This will just make it so that these body parts are no longer attached to our mesh. And then we can drag in one of our body parts again and look for set, simulate physics and just leave it checked. And we'll connect all our body parts to this node. And we'll also make the head body part simulate physics, so I'll just drag it in here and connect it. And in order to make them simulate physics properly, if we just select all our meshes and then scroll down and go to collision presets, we just want to change it to be ragdoll. 
and then click compile and now if I click if I just drag this in and click play after 0.2 seconds we can see his body part splits up into many different pieces so next we're going to make it so we can shoot a certain body part and that will fall off so to do that if we head back to the dismemberment character and go to the viewport I'm going to make it so my player can shoot off my player's right arm so if I go to add component and look for box collision and I'm just going to scale this box collision so it roughly fits around his arm and then to attach this to his right arm we just want to select this box and drag it into his right arm and then under the details panel I'm going to look for hidden in game and just leave this unchecked so we can see this in the game and if I go to my uh, game and click play we can see I start with this FPS weapon and using it I can shoot projectiles we'll make it when this projectile overlaps with our character's box collision it will shoot off his arm so to do this if we head to the first person projectile weapon and go to the viewport and look for add component and look for a sphere collision and we want to make sure that this is overlap or dynamic and then if we head back to the uh, dismemberment character and with the box selected we can scroll down and go to on component we can overlap we will cast to the first person projectile and when this box is overlapped by a first person projectile we'll make it shoot off our character's right arm so I'm just going to select everything here press ctrl c and then press ctrl v so I'll first deattach it from my character and then I'll make this simulate physics so off here I'll look for set simulate physics and just leave this checked and now if I click compile and click play whoops so if I just head back to my dismemberment character and make it so he doesn't fall apart instantly and if I click play go to my character I can shoot off his right arm there's one more thing I want to show you with this so we can also make it so that this launches in a direction once we shoot off our character's arm so to do this we can just right click and look for add impulse I'll just look for add impulse right arm and just connect this here and then in the Z if I make this have a value of something like 2000 and just click veil change I'm also just going to have a bit of a delay of 0.2 seconds before I set simulate physics I just found it looks a bit better and if I click compile and I click play and I shoot off my character's right arm we can see it launches up in the air so with this add impulse we can just add an effect where this body part will fly once we've shot it off and using this box collision system we could also make it so we could shoot off our player's right arm or his left leg and that is just how to quickly set up a dismemberment system in Unreal Engine 4. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.